Hello, my beautiful Vibe Drivers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for Wednesday, July the 27th of 2022. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is our collective energy for all sun, moon, and rising signs. This is our manifesting reading using the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to manifest our best possible life now. So that means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. And with that, let's move on into the reading. Remember, this is all about being relentlessly optimistic, positively positive, and focusing with our intention to create our best possible life. So, no matter what's happened before now, we're starting from this moment, moving forward. Here we go. We have Temperance, which is Sagittarius, Major Arcana, and in the Standard Tarot uh, artwork, it usually shows an Archangel, and that is Archangel Uriel. Uriel is the Keeper of Divine Flame of Life, or the Fire of Life, and she's bringing in synchronicity to balance out everything so that you can move forward and step into new beginnings, and certainly the Seven of Swords is symbolizing a new beginning. Releasing what no longer serves you, giving two weeks notice, a letting go of, of extra or excess in your life. So purging and clearing and allowing yourself to move forward as the universe creates balance and synchronicity for you to do so. Let's see what else we have. Thank you angels, archangels, divine pure white light. And we have the Ace of Pentacles as our second cut card. So this is the energy of a new financial platform or new financial stability coming in. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods, and Goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Sun, Moon, and Rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this Divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we have our three cards. Try to get the glare off of it. I don't know that that's possible, but we will try. There we go. That's better. And we have our underlier, which is the Four of Cups. Now, the Four of Cups is commonly what I call the blessing in a brown paper bag. So that means the wrapping or the appearance of the, the outside doesn't match what is actually on the inside. This is a divine blessing coming in disguised as something very much common. Okay? So... Don't turn away what's offered to you before you fully vet it because you may be giving away your blessing. Now, doesn't mean that it won't come back. It just means it's going to take longer. So none of us want to exacerbate that, right? We don't want to stretch out the time it takes for our blessings to come and return to us. So don't throw it away without checking it out. That's all I'm saying. If you're going to donate a coat, you always check the pockets. Before you give it away, there might be there might be an old wallet in there full of money. You never know. Sometimes we leave stuff places. I just found a hard drive in a purse that I had stuck in a closet from years ago. I haven't probably used that purse in 10 years. And there was my little thumb drive that I wanted. Not a hard drive, a thumb drive. <laughs> That'd be hard to put. A <laughs> I'd be walking around with a big old heavy purse. Yes, it was a thumb drive, a little, little uh, USB. So, flow. Beautiful energy. Riches flow into my life in many ways and from many directions. This is the energy of allowing yourself to be in the flow of the universe. The universe is continuously bringing things to us and moving us in the energy of, of our, our divine path, even when we don't realize it. The, the, the weirdest little coincidences can line you up for the biggest beautiful outcomes. So... This is another way of saying I receive abundance from sources known and unknown. And the universe is continuously conspiring in my favor, bringing me abundance through, through all means. Remember, we don't always know what we are looking at, right? So just be open. Courage. 
My fear of rejection does not stop me from bravely going forward. It is so important to be able to push past the fear. Everything you do new, stepping out of your comfort zone, is going to feel scary. It's going to feel foreign. It's going to feel like you might be making a mistake. So allow yourself to vet it and, and realize that whatever you're moving toward, you have to take some of these gambles. You have to be able to step past the fear and uh, not be afraid to fail. Because when you do that, you inherently will step into something that will hold you. And that's, remember, you've got that um, temperance card, Archangel Uriel, with the Sagittarius Major Arcana that we had at the very beginning, telling you the universe is bringing the ground up to meet your feet. No need to worry. <laughs> There's your answer from the Angel's Oracle cards. Angel answers or Oracle cards. And we have... Sacred Geometry Activations, we have the Divine Feminine. The frequency of Divine Feminine supports our receptive, nurturing, and soft side, allowing it to express itself openly and helping us to connect to our intrinsic understanding of our connection to all creation. So, being in the energy of Divine Feminine is Divine Creativity. The feminine energy is all about the creative source of the, the new, the things being born into existence. So everyone has their ability to participate in that and, and be part of it because everything you create is part of that energy. Believe. Be open to all possibilities and opportunities. Let go of preconceived ideas. There is nothing to fear. You are constantly surrounded by love. Start to believe in yourself and trust your instincts. Wonder, wondrous possibilities and opportunities abound, provided you are flexible and retain an open heart and mind. Believe all is possible with an exclamation point at the end. Trust. You are looking at a situation from purely a physical perspective and therefore you cannot see the bigger picture and the blessings interwoven in this event. We, your angels, urge you to trust for all will work out in the best way possible. Let go of your fear and apprehension and allow God's healing energy to flow to you. Trust for all will heal in ways you never thought possible. So that's telling you no need to worry and have courage to go for it because the universe is working with you. It's with you at all times. So, the Ten of Swords, this is releasing that fear and that feeling of being targeted or under attack. This is the end of that cycle, being done and removed from all anxiety and all of that toxic energy. Ten is the end of the cycle. Look, you got another ten. The Ten of Wands, so two tens back to back. This is the energy of the struggle being over. The, the burden is lifted. You no longer have to carry this on your back. The, the weight is off. So very two very, very solid confirmations right there. And the Queen of Swords. So this is the energy of the, the air sign Major Arcana Feminine. So Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy. But it also means being very much in your knowledge and being able to stand in that knowledge taking all people who come against you. So this means acing a job interview. So this looks like somebody is really doing well in lifting the burden of, of whatever difficulty they were having financially through this energy of creation in this lifting of all the negativity and all of the things that are changing for you here with the knowledge that you have, you're able to overcome it. So this looks like a job offer. Because this is what this looks like to me. So I, have, I hope all of you can use it in the best way possible to allow yourself to move forward and be in the divine strength and allow yourself to create your best possible outcome through your positive confirmation and energy and focus. So I send you lots of love, lots of healing, lots of peace, joy, happiness, abundance, and prosperity to you all. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste, my friends.